Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a warm welcome to everybody. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone for successfully being here at COP27. Your presence here proves your individual responsibility to tackle this climate change together. And also, I would like to thank the government of Malaysia for hosting us in the Malaysian Pavilion, the Global Environment Centre for organising the event, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development for supporting the programme. The peatland ecosystems is the most important terrestrial ecosystem globally for carbon storage. Although peatlands only cover 3% of the land surface, they store about 30% of soil carbon, which is more than the biomass of all the world's forests combined. Southeast Asia has about 23 million hectares of peatlands, or about 40% of tropical peatlands globally, of which an estimated 2.6 million hectares of peatlands are in Malaysia. One hectare of peat swamp forest may store up to 5,000 tonnes of carbon, or more than 10 times the carbon store of tropical forests on mineral soil. Because peatlands are critical in global carbon storage, Degradation of peatlands can lead to large-scale emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. It is estimated that global emissions from peatlands degradation is more than 2 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide a year, or about 30% of global GHG emissions from the forestry and land use sector. In Malaysia, more than 50% of our peatlands have been cleared and drain for agriculture and plantations over the past 50 years and a large portion of our remaining peat swamp forests have been logged. More than 200,000 hectares of our peatlands have been identified as fire prone. Malaysia has recognised the importance of stopping further degradation of peatlands and managing its peatland on a sustainable basis. Work to re-wet and restore degraded peat swamp forests in Malaysia started in 2008 and is now being conducted in more than 10 sites covering nearly 6,000 hectares. In 2021, Malaysia set a national target of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 and our nationally determined contribution under the Paris Agreement enhanced to a 45% reduction of GHG intensity by 2050. At COP26 in Glasgow, 141 nations committed to halt and reverse forest loss and land degradation by 2030. If we are going to meet our targets, we need to scale up our actions in every country. We also need to take a whole of society approach. We need to engage stakeholders from all levels of, from the private sector, state governments and national governments, consumers as well as the indigenous people and local communities. All must work together to achieve the common goals of restoring our forests and peatlands and reducing GHG emissions. The Indigenous People and Local Communities, or IPLC, have been the stewards of the land for thousands of years and their active engagement in preventing and reversing forests and peatland degradation is essential. The recent report on the state of indigenous peoples and local communities, lands and territories confirm that IPLCs are vital custodians of the world's remaining natural landscapes. In total, 42% of all global lands in good ecological condition are within IPLC lands and 91% of IPLC lands are in good or moderate ecological condition. In my own state of Pahang, we are blessed with the largest forest cover and the largest area of peatland in Peninsula Malaysia. In recent years, a number of actions have been undertaken to better protect peatlands and forests in Pahang, including the establishment of the Pahang State Parks Corporation and the Pahang Biodiversity Council to better conserve natural ecosystems and biodiversity, undertaking a pilot project for re-wetting and fire prevention for 17,000 hectares of peatlands in Pekan, in partnership with the state government agencies, local indigenous communities, oil palm plantations and NGOs. 
We're also initiating a project to support the development of a state action plan on peatlands and prepare an integrated management plan for the Southeast Pahang peatland landscape and also initiating a carbon study on, of peat song forest in southeast Pahang and lowland forest in the Tukai region to explore options for better protection and rehabilitation of forests and peatlands. Moving forward, we are encouraging the state government, private sector, local communities and NGOs to enhance and scale up collaborative work to better protect and restore peatlands and forests in the state. Today, we are here gathered to share information and discuss further how to develop multiple stakeholder partnerships to conserve and sustainably manage peatlands and forests to reduce GHG emissions and support welfare of indigenous people and local communities in Malaysia. I hope that everyone attending today will play a vital role in spreading the message of the importance of action to urgently protect and restore our remaining peatlands and forests for the important roles for carbon storage, water management and biodiversity conservation and as well as sustaining the lives of the people. With this, I formally open the study event on the multi-stakeholder partnerships for sustainable peatland management to address climate change in Malaysia. Thank you all.